check this out. Pretty cool, eh? Well, looks like I've got some work to do. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you good. And yes, in the past 24 hours, we passed 9,000 subscribers, well on our way to that 10,000 subscriber mark. It's very cool that it may just happen before my birthday, which, by the way, is on the 23rd of this month. So, you know, just in case you want to send me a card, or a Ninja Turtle, or money, here's a request. Satuk Kanchun asked, Thank you for all your wonderful tutorials. Will it be possible for you to show us how to make an opening gate like that of Harrison Wells' secret room in The Flash Season 1, Episode 1, when he touches his hand onto the wall? Well, I hope so. Otherwise, this episode's gonna be pretty short. In order to complete this effect, you need to shoot your actor touching their hand to a wall. Now, they don't necessarily have to be evil. They just gotta touch the wall. You'll also need to grab the project file below that contains our Cinema 4D file that contains our sweet door animation, and also a PNG sequence file of the same animation for those without cinema. You get it? You got it? Good. Ooh, I almost forgot. Here's this week's shout out. That's done, now let's get to work. Okay guys, well here we are in, well, you know. As you can see, I've got my comp set up and ready to go. And if we head over to the project window, you'll see we've also got our door footage called door. Yeah, real creative brand. Anyway, if I double click on it, you can see that it's all green. So why is that? Well, it's pretty simple. On the show, the door secretly is a partition of the wall. And when it peels back, you never see the join marks. It's like the wall's texture is projected onto it. So by using green, we can remove everything but the shadows from our door footage by keying and essentially create the exact same illusion. So what are we waiting for? Let's scrub forward on the timeline to just the point after I touch my hand to the wall. We'll then grab our door footage, hold shift and drop it in at that exact point. We'll then head up to effect, keying and select key light. Next, let's grab that color picker and BAM! It's all done. If we check out a preview, you can see that our door footage is now blended into our scene, complete with shading, using our wall as its own texture. If you need to, you can scale it up slightly, move its position, even make it 3D to make it work for your shot. One thing I have noticed here is our lights have lost a little of their color. So let's fix that by heading up to effect, color correction, and add a hue and saturation. And let's just move that dial until we get our color back. That's better. The other effect in the shot is, of course, my hand illuminating when I touch it to the wall. Believe it or not, this is pretty damn easy to pull off too. For starters, let's head up to Layer and add a new Shape Layer. Now before we draw anything, let's click here and set the fill to transparent, like so. We'll then head over to Stroke and set it to, say, a oh, baby blue. I'm going to leave the stroke thickness at 2, but if your shot is a little closer, you might want to up that a little bit and make it a bit thicker. Next, let's draw a nicely detailed mask around that hand, just roughly going over the wrist. The end result should look a bit like this. But Grant, I hear you ask, what about this wrist part here? You can't mask a shape layer. That's true, you can't. But if you pre-compose it, you can. So that's what we're going to do. Right click, let's pre-compose that sucker, and let's call it hand and click OK. From there, let's grab the pen tool and let's draw a quick mask over that wrist overlap. We'll then collapse down the mask menu and change it to subtract. Let's also hit F and feather it out, say, 10 pixels. And that takes care of that. Next, we want to sell the illusion that the wall is somehow scanning our hand a little. So with our hand layer selected, we'll head up to effect, generate and add a light burst. Time to tweak this. Let's change our ray length to 47 and check Halo Alpha. If you're not already there, let's scrub to the point where our hand first touches the wall, hit the stopwatch on our center point, and then place it near the center of our hand. Let's then skip ahead to when our door is, say, three quarters open, and move that center point up our hand a little bit. As you can see now, when I scrub through, the light burst rays animate downwards, giving that kind of scanny effect. Our last step here is to animate the opacity and then finish this bad boy up. 
So once again, head to the point where your actor has just touched the wall, hit T to bring up opacity, hit the stopwatch, crank it down to zero, and then we'll skip ahead, say, three frames and crank it back up to 100. We'll then go forward to that 75% done mark, add another keyframe, skip ahead three more frames, and crank it down to zero once more. And if we check out a preview, that, like Keenan Ivory Wayans' character in Most Wanted, is done. Now guys, before we go, I just wanted to show you the animation inside Cinema 4D and why it needs its own episode. As you can see here, each one of these door pieces is animated independently of each other, and that's roughly 300 of them in this shot. So yeah, I call this simple, but it's also complicated at the same time. But if you do have cinema and you want to render out a different angle to using your shot, all you have to do is just move the camera and render it out. It's really that easy. Add up all of those steps and you get something like this. Hey guys, check this out. Pretty cool, eh? Well, wow. Looks like I've got some work to do. So that's my take on the Dr. Wells earbud thorn reverse flash hidden room door thingy. I know I took a lot of the heavy lifting out of the picture by making the whole door splitting opening thing in Cinema 4D, but if you want to know how I did it, sound off in the comments and I'll show you in a bit more detail. But that's my time guys, if you enjoyed the video please like and share it, if you're new here, Adam smash that subscribe button. And for previews of upcoming episodes, experiments and my own personal musings, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. This is Ben here, and until next time, keep learning!